down. Three opponents down. That was all of them! So what is going on everyone, Doozy here and welcome back to some Destiny 2. So I recently got what I consider to be one of my favorite exotics in the game as of right now. At least out of the ones that I have. I don't have all the new ones that just came out, but this is by far one of my favorites. And that is the Colony Grenade Launcher. So this is a new exotic that was added in with the Curse of Osiris. And I will say this thing is insanely fun to use. I feel like all exotics need to be as fun as this. But anyways, let's start off with the perks. So first off, we have Linear Compensator. You know, just your, your basic barrel. Then after that, we have High Velocity Rounds. Don't really need to go over that. Then after that, we have Serve the Colony. So it says... Insectoid robot grenades quickly repopulate the magazine from your reserves. So basically this is like Cocoon from Destiny 1 or I guess it's uh, that holster perk in Destiny 2. I don't remember what it's called but it's where it reloads when you uh, your weapon's stowed away. So you know it, it comes in handy. It's not the most useful perk but it does come in handy. And then this final perk is composite stock. But for its exotic perk, now this is where it gets really cool. So it's called Insectoid Robot Grenades. It says, this weapon's grenades are insectoid robots that chase targets and explode close to them. Now, this is seriously so much fun to use. It's basically what makes this thing so fun. So, you can shoot these grenades on the ground and they will travel on a, a straight path until they, they get close to a target to where they can start tracking them. And these grenades will actually go pretty far before they actually run out. Like, I was just messing around in PvE, just shooting these on the ground, and I was quite a distance away from this Cabal. And, you know, I just shot one on the ground just to see how far it would go. And it actually managed to go far enough to where it would pick up the Cabal and it would start tracking it. So you can be pretty far away from this, and it's seriously, it's just so much fun to mess around with in both PvP and PvE. And believe it or not, you can actually be pretty tactical with this in PvP. Like, if you know someone's around a corner, and uh, you have power ammo, just shoot it on the ground, and uh, that little grenade will go running around the corner after someone. Of course, it's not going to be a one-hit kill. That'll be pretty OP, I'm not going to lie, but it does do enough damage to where you know you can just shoot one on the ground close to someone or around a corner and uh, it'll go tracking them and if it does hit them then you should be able to finish them off in quite a few hits like I was using the hand cannon I think it was only two hits after that so you know you can make some some cool little plays with this and uh, another thing I forgot to mention is that the the grenades will explode on impact so if you shoot a grenade and it just direct impacts somebody it will explode although let's be honest it's, it's way more fun to shooting these on the ground and watching them chase after somebody but yeah like I said this is as of right now my favorite exotic in the game to use like it I feel like exotics should be like this, you know, fun to use. If they're not going to be like some of the overpowered ones, or not overpowered, but like, you know, the, the really powerful ones, like if you could compare it to Destiny 1, like the Gallahorn or the Sleeper Simulant, if they're not going to be powerful like that, I feel like they should be a lot of fun to use. And that's exactly what this thing is. It is so much fun. So hopefully they will continue to mess around with stuff like this in the future with some of their exotics. I mean, for instance, like look at the Tractor Cannon. That's a, another example. That one's, it's not the most practical, but I mean, it's fun to use. So hopefully they continue this trend on uh, making some pretty far out there exotics because like I said this is definitely my favorite as of right now. Of course you know this isn't going to replace or I don't think it will replace things like the the merciless or anything like that when it comes to PvE and doing boss damage. It's just you can use it to clear out some adds and take out some, some majors and stuff but when it comes to doing boss damage I don't think this will really be used that much unless you're just trying to like mess around and do a challenge or something. But I mean, honestly, who really cares? Because it's a lot of fun to use, and I guess that's all that matters. But anyways, if any of you actually have this, let me know what you think about it, if you've messed around with it or anything. If I haven't said it enough already, uh, I'll say it again. I think this thing's a lot of fun. But you know, I'd still like to know what you guys think, if you actually have it. But anyways, I guess that's about it for this video. So as always, I would like to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, I would really appreciate it. And also subscribe if you're new here. And I guess until next time, I will catch you all later.